Greetings tankers, my name is Adam Snellgrove and welcome to Best Replays. In today's episode we've got winged tanks, a baptism by heat, and one of the most insane comebacks you'll ever see. So stick around, like, subscribe and follow us on social media to never miss an episode. And let's get straight into it. In third place we've got tanks with wings. No, this is not some kind of an endorsement of a certain energy drink brand which coincidentally rhymes with shed wool. It is just the name of our hero in their TS-54 here on Westfield. And as a top tier tank this is what I like to see, playing aggressive and putting the pressure on the enemy team right from the start. Ah, uh, it's always the arty that's more than happy to spoil our fun. That's right, flap away, Ferdy. Yeah, it's so good to have a reliable wingman. So with the north side of the map clear, our hero can finally spread their wings and uh Yeah. Oh well, this is best replays after all. You're more likely to see pigs fly than a competent friendly team on our show. <laughs> Someone clip your wings, eh, M6? Wrecked! Oh, a full HP M6 painted yellow? How did this one fly under the radar? Ha! Ah, the M6 really thought they stood a chance against our hero. Well, as the old Babylonian proverb goes, if frogs had wings, they wouldn't bump their butts. <laughs> However, there appears to be one glaring issue which could ground tanks with wings hopes and memes, which is only two shells remaining, both of them HE. And capping is out of the question. The enemy double cap would surely spell defeat for our hero. Thus, the only play that will fly is to find the Cheeto on 48 HP. And now wing it against the STRV-74. A capture attempt in the open? That ranks very high on my no-no list. But realistically, what else is there to do? Surely the SDRV will show up any moment now. No way! Where was the SDRV? What a game by Tanks with Wings, successfully bringing this one back with flying colours to score Radley Walters medal. And in doing so, dealing 7,931 damage, scoring 8 kills and 2,206 base experience. Even the critical lack of shells wasn't enough to clip their wings. Thus, I believe this replay deserves the third place on our show, along with 2,000 gold and a best replay style. Well done! Up next on our show, it's Showtime PT, in what they claim to be only their second game ever in the Yak Panzer E100. And right off the bat, we've got a conqueror pushing their luck and getting blapped. And then pushing their luck again? Well, that's what you get. So, why not put a few more enemy tanks through the tomato test? Oof, now that was a costly mistake. Oh, 
boy who dares to interfere in our fight? Ah, these tortoise players are always trying to take the spotlight. Anyway, we are returning to our regularly scheduled program, in which Showtime PT continues to rack up damage against oblivious enemy tanks. Although, with the game still hanging in the balance... Nah, who am I kidding? Everyone just wants to see more blappage! Oh, hi there! Alright, and with that we only have a single Shah for Turf 4 remaining on the enemy team, with Showtime PT sitting on 9,673 damage dealt. So, wouldn't it be nice to join the 10k damage club? Come on, come on! Yeah, gotcha! GG! And that's how you claim a mastery badge in only your second game in a Yak Panzer E100! Showtime PT made mincemeat out of the enemy team, ending up with a whopping 12,700 damage, 4 kills and 1,446 base experience. Which means two of those blind shots against the elusive tortoise did pen its armour. Also, for those of you paying keen attention to the scoreboard, that's 10,000 damage more than the next best ally. Wow! All in all, a replay which deserves to be rewarded with 2,500 gold and a best replay style. Well done! And for the grand finale, we're bringing you an Object 260 and hi, I'm Milos setting up in an overwatch position here on El Halouf. Whoa, the 50B already crossed? Costly start, if I may say so. Which has just turned out to be even costlier. All right, maybe it's time to rethink this approach. Yeah, that is not the start I'd expect from a best replay of the week. Hi, I'm Milosh is on the run, missing 2,000 of their HP, with a team being six tanks down. So the best one could hope for is a few more damaging shots before inevitably going down. Huh, what is this enemy team doing? Throwing away their lead just like that. Okay. Yikes. Double yikes. Triple yikes! Was that? 
Hi, I'm Milos. Just took out four enemy tanks completely alone. How is that even possible? Still with double RT and just 18 HP, the margins for error are slim to none. Oh, there's the 261! Nice, that's one arty gone. Oh, and the GW is here! G G! Now that was absolutely insane! In just one minute, High I'm Milosh has managed to cheat death, destroy four tanks, and turn the game around. An incredible display of skill and composure, which we had a pleasure featuring on our show. The post-game stats show us 10,240 damage dealt, 9 kills and 1,760 base experience. Impressive numbers, which we will be awarding with 3,000 gold, a best replay style and the title of best replay of the week. Congratulations! And on that bombshell of a replay, we shall end today's episode. So tell me, comment section, wasn't that the most amazing comeback you've seen in World of Tanks? No? You've got a better one? Well, in that case, be sure to submit your replays to us through Discord, What Replays or What Record. You wouldn't want to miss your chance at getting gold and the unique best replay style, would you? I thought so. Anyway, while you're doing that, I shall let you know that I'm Adam Snugrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!